These mics are really high, aren't they? It's a good thing I've got a, like, a really loud voice anyway. But um, So I just want to um, pass on a solidarity and best wishes from the uh, trade union family in Wales and more widely as well. Yesterday, of course, um, was also International Workers Memorial Day. Lots of people were on strike on that day as well. PCS included was on strike yesterday. Um, and what we're seeing at the moment is, is that everyone is talking, of course, about the need for us to remember the dead and fight for the living. And when we talk about fighting for the living, we also then have to really keep laser focus on every single dispute that is currently taking place. Yes, there are some disputes that have been settled and there's been some really good victories, but equally we have a really long way to go because we still have a Tory government that is explicitly clear that they will attack workers' rights and our right to take industrial action at every single given opportunity. And yes, we've had a bit of a small win in the House of Lords in that, of course, they've agreed that the, the changes that they wanted to introduce for Wales will not be applied. But let's, we, can't, we can't just say it's all over. We can't say it's all done and dusted. But, of course, it is important for us to acknowledge how far we've come. It is important for us to acknowledge how far we've come because workers are looking to the movement not only for the fact that we are collectively taking action and standing so shoulder to shoulder, but equally they're, they're looking to see whether or not strike action gets results. Does strike action lead to better outcomes for ordinary working people up and down this country? Now we know that it most definitely does, but we also know that nobody takes strike action or the decision to take strike lightly because when you strike not only do you lose money you also are sticking your head above the parapet and all of a sudden your bosses are looking at you they're looking to see whether or not you're actually you know you can still have a place in the organization there's a lot of bullying there's a lot of harassment that takes place we know for cw for example we've seen how many activists and reps who have been reprimanded by their bosses for making sure that workers were organized and were collectively taking action. That they were actually making sure that when the bosses were putting out their messages that there was the alternative, very clear message from the union that made it very clear how far, how far the talks, as far as the talks with the employer had progressed. Now there's always two sides to every single story. There's always two sides. But we know, we know as a movement, we are definitely on the right side of history. This is history in the making. Every single thing that you see around you at the moment, all of this was built off the backs of workers. None of this would exist or run in this country or any other part of the world if it wasn't for the hard work of the workers. Every single thing here is as, as a result of that. And of course, it is absolutely right that we call out profiteering. We call out profiteering in the private sector. We call out those individuals that have fancy accountants, that can find ways and means of hiding their cash abroad while they come after ordinary workers, when they come after people who actually need state help at that moment in time. Let's not forget, of course, we've left the European Union. They're now coming. They're now coming for our health and safety rights. They're coming for every other hard-won right that we fall heart for. And what have they said? They've said, oh, the likes of Jason Reeks, Mark, what's he said? He said, don't worry about it. We had all of this before we were a part of Europe anyway, so it was all good. We're going to make sure. We're going to make sure that everyone's okay, yet they continue to attack us at every given moment in time. So my message is very, very simple. Make sure that you're talking to every single person that you know. Be they a worker, whether they're in work or whether they're out of work. Talk to your families, talk to your colleagues, talk to your neighbours. Make sure that every single person remains very united and very clear. That without the workers, there is nothing. The workers united will never be defeated. The workers 
united will never be defeated. The workers united will never be defeated. Solidarity.